what you think about their hot chocolate. Till the end of February, visit their Facebook page and share your thoughts. For a link, go to cityline.ca and our audience will all take home a $15 second cup gift card. And we're gonna draw for this prize pack after the show. All right, let's let's talk about. We just talked about embracing the winter. Yeah. One way to do it is to have the right tools. We were saying dress properly, but yep. also there's a lot of fun things you can do, like snowshoe or use some of these boots that have you know extra traction for the ground. Yeah, there's lots of things you can get just to to make you gear. Yeah, gear that's either necessary to just get out and enjoy, like we all said we wanted to dress warm, yeah. or ways to enjoy the winter. So. Right. Let's start with snowshoeing. So snowshoeing is so hot right now. Mm -hmm. There is a resurgence of snowshoeing, and here's why I love it. It's inexpensive. Yeah. So if you want, you can um, buy a starter price point type set. I got all this stuff from Mountain Equipment Co-op today. Cool. Um, you can buy a starter set, or you can rent them. They they do rent them there, for example. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, and it's but more affordable than let's say that say um, skiing because the kids and the adults can use their own boots when you're at the entry level. Right. So you don't have to buy that. You don't have to buy pads. They can be done in any area. If you live in the country, obviously anywhere. Excuse me, if you're in the city, you can go to a park yes. and just pop, plop yeah, around in the true. snow. If you have really little ones, you can go to High Park, like here in Toronto, a big park. If you've got, if you want lots of space, Wherever so it's you accessible. Are in the country. Yeah, Especially whether you're, if urban you're in or not. An, an area that has a ton of snow. Exactly. This is your time now. And if you live fun. in a small space, there's not a lot of equipment to store. You can right. rent them, or they're small. As you see, these bigger ones are adults, and the little ones obviously are for the kiddies. So cute. And I love it. Actually, we're doing a snowshoeing excursion next week on, when we're away. Oh, yeah, I'm really, really good. following your Instagram. I want to yeah. see how that goes. <laughs> yes, I will. Okay. So what are these? I'm so beyond obsessed with these, and I'm not overstating when I say they changed my life. Okay. So I've been wearing these for years, and they're called earbags. Okay. Now I have really, really, really sensitive ears. Uh, earmuffs I find are not comfortable. Those ah. headbands are not, and hats obviously ruin my hair. <laughs> so <laughs> many, many, many years ago, and I, if I'm not exaggerating, about 15 years ago, my mom found these in a store. Yeah. And bought me them. And all they are is they're like earmuffs. I'm going to hold them still so you can see them. So they're like earmuffs. These ones happen to be black. These are literally out of my coat pocket. You unclick them. Yeah. So they make a dome. Okay. They're almost like, on, like the things on see headphones. See how they're round? And I'm going to go up to my ear here. And all you do is push it onto your ear and push them on. And then they stay on your ears. Oh. Oh, I know. I was right, right? And it's warm, huh? So warm. I love them, love them, and they're really thin. Small, so they're large. really, yep, they're really thin, so they stay in every coat I have. So I'm never without them. That is me, very I'm that smart. Sensitive. But they're really great, and then you can wear, you know, whatever them. you want around them. So I love them. They're called earbags. Very cool. Bananas about those. Thank you, mom, for finding them. Okay. So many people scared about the ice last winter. My goodness, the ice. Yep. If you have young ones, if you're getting to a certain age and you don't have that much mobility, it is very scary to be walking on this ice. It is, and if you're carrying young ones or yes. whatever. So for everyday life, these are these things are really cool. These ones are rubber yeah. and they've got spikes on them and they slip onto your existing boot. That's so cool. There's there's different levels and degrees of traction you can buy. These ones have literally have chains that stick onto the boots for a higher. Maybe you want to go hiking. That's scary. Well, it's scary That's looking. Like, look at how serious that is. Like it a is. chainsaw on your yeah. shoe. But look, if you hang it with the shoe, it creates this massive traction. So I would like use it. Maybe hiking or something. You know, I would get totally out. Use Don't it. let it uh, sway you. Now, yeah. these ones are uh, boots that are from Pajar. Yes. Now, Pajar is a Canadian company, and they're really cute, stylish winter boots. They've got everything going for them. But what I love about them is they bought them. You can actually open them up to make traction. Ah. So if you don't want to hook the things in your existing shoes or you need a pair of boots anyway, these are a great option. They click closed when you don't need the traction. Yeah. And if you find yourself with them, they click open. I think that's genius. Beautiful. I just thought that was a brilliant idea. That is great. That's very smart. Now, here's a tip that I was giving. Actually, speaking of, this is I got the, this tip at a ski shop in Montremblant. It's one yeah. of the guys who worked there. So, you know, hot these hot hand warmer things? They come mm -hmm. in all different brands. Love them, love them, love them. They work great. Here's the key to them. Most of the time, you put it into your palm, and you put your glue, glove on or your mitt on, and away you go. Right. But if you're shoveling or if you're skiing or any activity, it gets in the way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, sometimes they can break, and that's annoying. Yes. You're actually not supposed to put them there. No? You're supposed to put them on the top of your hands. Oh, really? A, so they're out of the way, but also all your blood vessels are there, so it warms your blood more, and it keeps your extremities warm. Oh. Oh no! I had no idea. So that's a tip. You can get these really, really, really inexpensive at all different types of yeah, stores. Yeah, they're all over the place. So put them on the top. Yeah, and now this little gadget, I like this one. Now mm -hmm. it's also, um, this is also from Mountain Equipment Co-op. It's, it's a triple duty. So it's a hand warmer that you recharge. Okay. It turns into a flashlight as well. Nice. And it charges your cell phone. 
Oh, and wow. The reason why all three of those things are good is if you are somebody who's going out later in the afternoon and you find yourself in the dark, you've got the flashlight on hand. Mm -hmm. But if it's extremely cold, batteries in general, not just cell phone batteries, drain faster in the cold. Right. So if you like the, sa the safety of having your uh, phone around, you can also charge it if you get into your battery draining out. So I that's just think awesome. that's brilliant too. Very nice. Yeah, really good. Do you want that real quick? Yeah, real okay, quick. Okay, this real that. quick. This is the, uh, the Cheetah Runner by Thule. It's amazing. It's got skis. Yes. So you can hook yourself into the front, and you can pull baby in here in his warm little, uh, warm little snuggy blanket. Aww. But the skis come off, and it's also wheels. So this is all year round. So even though you've got a new little baby, you can still find it way to get outside and get fresh air and get some exercise. That is amazing because yeah. the sidewalks are not cleared that quickly. Totally, that yeah. is a great yeah, thing yeah. to do.